If you guys can get this video to 500 likes, I'll do a brand new sneaker giveaway. If you are new to this channel and you love sneakers and you love giveaways, make sure you join the more family and hit that subscribe button down below. So make sure you hit that like button. Now let's jump into the video on how to cop these Jordan 5 off-whites. The Air Jordan 5 Off-White officially releases on February 15th, 2020, and retail will be $225. So in this video, I want to talk about how you guys can cop these sneakers for retail, and of course, go over resale predictions. If you love sneakers and giveaways, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Join the more family. So Nike and Virgil are back together with another collaboration. Of course, this time on the Air Jordan 5. Five, we have had three other Jordan off-white sneakers, all being the Jordan 1. So this time, they're switching it up, and we are getting the Air Jordan 5 model. Looks of the sneaker, I think these look really, really good. Very, very clean looking, except for that bottom, with the outsole being a yellow color already, which would happen over time if it was a translucent sole. It would take a few years for the yellow on the outsole to happen, but Virgil said, nah, bro, we're going to give it to you that way right out the box so that's exactly how they're coming and i kind of like that look but i also don't like it if you catch what i'm saying i like it because it's definitely unique and it's something that's gonna happen to the sneaker anyway however i'm just not that crazy of how it looks so that is one thing for the sneaker that i'm not crazy about i do want to see them in person though i'm gonna try my best absolute best to get a pair to review for the channel if not, I'm sorry, but I am going to try my best to get a pair. So with other details on the sneaker, I really am questioning also the tongue with the big hole on one of the sneakers. I am questioning that, but I'm not opposed to it. I definitely want to see, like I said, I want to see these in person. The rest of the Air Jordan 5 off-white is completely deconstructed, which I really do like. And, you know, that's something that Off-White is just honestly known for. I'm happy with the colorway that they gave us because it is an extremely wearable colorway. Being black, a light black or a dark gray, or kind of like a light gray, dark gray. I really do like the colorway, though. I think they chose a really good colorway. I'm not crazy about it being on the Air Jordan 5. I feel like we could have definitely used an Off-White Jordan 3, an Off-White Jordan 4. I mean, an off-white Jordan 11, that would be crazy. I'm happy we didn't get another Jordan 1. Because we've already had three colorways of the off-white Jordan 1. We all know that they're crazy limited, crazy expensive. And that's exactly what's going to wind up happening with these Jordan 5s. So, how can you cop the Air Jordan 5 off-white? The main number one spot that everyone really has a fair chance of copping is from Nike sneakers guys that is really it they're only releasing in the first place nike sneakers select nike retailers very very select you're not going to really have your chance of copying these at your local Foot Locker. they're not going to be there so this is going to be a very 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 limited sneaker a lot of hype for this sneaker a lot of demand for this sneaker and there's going to be a lot of resell on this sneaker as well so before we get into the resale let me just tell you guys since they are dropping on nike sneakers how can you increase your chances of copying them on nike sneakers well first and foremost you want to have a few multiple nike accounts as many accounts as possible of course nike does do verification with your phone number so you need to make sure that your phone number and account is linked up properly and have multiple devices that's really the best way to do it I mean, there's no other way around it because they're most likely to going to give us the draw on this release. I don't see them doing a normal let everyone order release. I'm pretty sure they're going to give us a draw on this release where you'll have probably 10, maybe 15 minutes to enter in the draw as many accounts as possible and then wait for your L or if you're lucky, you get your confirmation of copying the Jordan 5 off-white. If they do a let everyone order, which again, I don't think they're going to, but if they do, it, you basically just enter in your size, put in your payment details, and hit buy now, and you wait in the line, and within a few minutes, you will either once again get your L, or 
get your confirmation. So Nike sneakers, honestly guys, I'm telling you, that's really the only way. Online especially, in store, they you might see them on maybe one spot in foot action in like Chicago. Chicago's going to have probably the most amount of pairs because the All-Star game this year is in Chicago. And these do drop, the Off-White Fives do drop on All-Star Weekend. So if you're in Chicago, you definitely have the best chance of copping locally. But it's you still got to be on top of your game. Well, we might see a sneaker stash for it once again in Chicago. So you got to be really, really on top of your game if you live in Chicago to cop local. Now, resell. 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 Everyone wants to know how are these going to do on the secondary market? How is resell going to do on the Jordan 5 Off-White? Well, first and foremost, retail is $225. However... That really does not matter because this sneaker is going to resell for nothing less, I would say, than probably $700 to $800. In the smaller sizes, you're going to look at around probably $1,400, $1,500 right off the rip for the smaller sizes. And once again, the bigger sizes will probably be right around $700 to $800. These will drop a little bit in price the following week, but they're going to go up in price. So if you do wind up copying the Jordan 5 off white and you can afford to hold them, I highly recommend holding them. Hold them, hold them, hold them. Because if you take a look at any other off white Jordan 1, they've all skyrocketed in price. This is going to be now the fourth Nike Off-White Jordan, which honestly is not a lot of pairs at all. It's only four shoes, and like no one really has the ones like that. Well, you know what I mean? So, yeah, guys, these are going to be crazy, crazy limited. Resale is going to be very, very nice. If you do cop, I need you to come back to this video and drop a comment and a like on this video letting me that you did cop. If you're going after these, make sure you also drop a comment down below right now and let me know what you think about them, man. Is this a personal for you? Is this definitely a flip for you? Drop a comment. Let me know. For me personally, if I cop for retail, I'm keeping them. I am keeping them. I think they're really, really nice. And honestly, I do want to wear them a lot. So wearable, so clean. So if I do cop for retail, I will be keeping them. If I don't, I might pay resale. Maybe. We will see. Resale, like I said, is going to be pretty crazy. I think it will settle in most sizes for right around $700, $800, $900. And then go up from there. So if you do cop, like I said, hold on to them. Good luck. Good luck in about two weeks now about two weeks a little over two weeks so good luck guys let me know if you're copying them if you are also let me know if you do cop are you going to keep them sell them hold on to them and let that resell just whoop, go up <laughs> let me know down below like i said these things are fire a very very clean shoe thank you nike thank you virgil for dropping more off white nikes it was reported that this collaboration was done like last year sometime but it does not look that way because we keep on getting sneakers with nike and off white and i am so here for it it's been a while since we've had a really good nike off white sneaker and i am very very excited for the jordan 5 off white i'm also very excited honestly for all star weekend all together we are getting a bunch a bunch of fire sneakers on all star weekend so let me know down below in the comments what all star weekend sneaker are you looking forward to picking up to copying let me know down below i'm very excited for the jordan 5 off white obviously i'm also very excited for the jordan 3 fire red cement i think those are really nice the dmp 6s are probably going to release Chicago mainly, I feel like they're, they are going to be pushed back. They already are pushed back to March. I'm hearing now April. We'll have to see what happens with the DMP6s though. Maybe get a pair of the DMP6s when those release in Chicago weekend, if they do, um, early. And I'm really looking forward ooh, to the Jordan 1 UNC to Chicago, the leather woman sneaker. The Jordan 1, I think those are really clean as well. So there's a bunch of sneakers dropping in February. Good luck to you guys on every release. Let me know down below in the comments, do you guys want me to come back to doing these how to cop and resell prediction videos? If you do, drop a like on this video. Also, 
also drop a comment and let me know. If you're new to the channel, make sure you do hit that subscribe button down below. I absolutely love sneakers and we do constant giveaways on this channel. Make sure you guys give me a follow on Instagram and Twitter as well. It'll pop up on screen right now and links are down below in the description. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys join the more family. Hit that subscribe button, smash that like button. We're always on the grind. We're never gonna stop always dropping that fire straight. Fire. Thank you guys so much for watching. We out.